A new effort tonight to get the Redskins to change their name. And the latest group is taking to the radio airways to get its message across. Horace Holmes joins us now with the details. Horace. Actually, the Oneida Indian Nation says the radio ad campaign will continue all season long. Its aim is to get NFL fans to pressure the league to get Washington's football team to change its name. The NFL's national spotlight will be shining brightly Monday night on the Washington Redskins as the team kicks off the Monday night football season at FedEx Field. That's why members of the Oneida Indian Nation in upstate New York are seizing this opportunity to launch a radio campaign urging NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell to focus on the name of D.C.'s football team. The commissioner has the opportunity to stand up to bigotry again. He can denounce the racial slur in the team name of the Washington Redskins. Well, I'm not a big fan of the term Redskin. I think it is a derogatory racist term. Uh, on the other hand, I'm not the commissioner, so it's up to him. Redskins owner Dan Snyder has made it clear that he has no intention of changing his team's name. And NFL commissioner Roger Goodell earlier this summer publicly stated he doesn't feel the Redskins name is offensive. Redskins have a name that they've created and they kept it perfectly fine. Nobody's really been racist towards it that I ever heard and I've never seen a big deal about it. But the Oneida Nation disagrees, and the radio ad, part of what is calling the Change the Mascot campaign, will begin airing this weekend. We let area Redskins fans take a listen. Whenever there's a prejudice or a discriminatory practice and somebody speaks up and makes a point and it's validated, I think one should take action. We do not deserve to be called Redskins. We deserve to be treated as what we are, Americans. Now, the Oneida Nation says it will air the ad on game days in the cities where the Redskins play their away games this year. The ad will air here in the Washington area this week on WTOP and on WJFK-FM. WTEM, which broadcasts Redskins games and is owned by Redskins owner Dan Snyder, rejected the ad.